Hello, welcome to Kodakanal International School. My name is Somitri, and I'm a chemistry facilitator at Kodakanal International School. So today I'll be giving you an orientation of chemistry IBDP at KIS. So first let me start with the nature of chemistry in IBDP. So in IBDP chemistry, we'll be studying about the nature of matter, its composition, its uh, structure, properties, changes in matter, energy changes which occur in matter. And we'll also be studying based on these, the microscopic and macroscopic properties of matter and that in turn will help us to change the behavior of matter. That is about the nature of chemistry. Next, what approaches to teaching and learning we take in IBDP chemistry? Regarding approaches to teaching, we look for inquiry-based education and concept-based education at IBDP chemistry. So in this one, we'll be looking also at improving the skills of students in respect to thinking skills, research skills, self-development skills, etc. So now I'm going to discuss about the uh, chemistry outline of syllabus in IBDP. So we have two broad classifications here, reactivity and structure. Regarding structure of chemistry, we'll be dealing with particulate nature of matter, changes in matter, and how it transforms the energy changes occurring in matter, and also chemical structure and bonding. Regarding reactivity, we'll be dealing with the how far the reactions go and measuring the energy changes and also the reaction mechanisms and what drives the chemical reactions. All these we'll be looking into. So this compromises about 80% of the IBDP chemistry assessments. Remaining 20% will be the practical nature of chemistry. Next, we'll uh, look at the prior learning which is required or MYP links to IBDP chemistry. So who can take IBDP chemistry? So ideally who have done MYP chemistry, they will be or a relevant courses like IGCSE or any other curriculum, which has or which gives the students the basic understanding of chemistry concepts like stoichiometry, mole concept, atomic structure, periodic table, chemical bonding, kinetics, equilibrium, acids and bases, then redox chemistry, organic chemistry, and basic exposure to experimental techniques, they will be able to take IBDP chemistry. And having a strong sense of mathematical skills is also essential to take IBDP chemistry. Now, the what is the links to MYP chemistry and IBDP chemistry, I'll explain in brief. In MYP chemistry, we study the aforesaid concepts of chemistry under a broader branches. That means the teachers will have freedom to expand the concepts. Whereas in IBDP chemistry, we have a set curriculum which we have to follow. Next, I'll be talking about the differences between higher level chemistry and standard level chemistry. In standard level chemistry, you will be looking at the fundamental aspects of chemistry and the associated uh, chemical or experimental approach to that effect. But whereas in higher level chemistry, we'll be dealing with the concepts more in depth and breadth and more rigor in mathematical applications. 90% of the topics will have mathematical applications. So highly uh, rigorous and uh, curriculum of HL chemistry will be there for higher level students. Next, the, what are the career options open to students who have uh, done IBDP chemistry? Uh, the, we have a wide number of uh, opportunities, like and you can go into education, you can go into research, you can go into chemical engineering, you can go into uh, medicine and healthcare, forensics, lots of opportunities will be there. So if you have any other queries, you can contact me at the given ID in the presentation. Thank you.